When you go out to your AC unit, do you see something that looks like this? Well, these are the pipes that allow refrigerant to flow through, allowing you to get cooling. And these are a critically important item in your HVAC system. So we're gonna show you how to mitigate this problem from start to finish. We're also gonna give you some tips that I have yet to see any other creators share with you with this particular problem. So make sure and watch the whole video. With that, let's get right into it. Today's video is brought to you by Mr. Cool, America's number one choice for quality, affordable DIY HVAC equipment and filter buy, offering quality, affordable filters shipped right to your door. All right, so this is the system that we're gonna be upgrading. And as you can see, this one is not terrible, but it's starting to fade already. Um, pretty soon, you're gonna have all of this faded from the sun hitting it, and you're gonna end up with exposed pipe right here. Now, I've seen so many systems that look exactly like this one. You can see bare pipes, you can see water condensating off of it in the middle of summer because these refrigerant pipes get cold. Now, I wanna just emphasize the importance of this. There's a reason why this pipe is insulated, and it's to keep that cool inside and keep the hot away from it. Anytime the sun is hitting that, it's making your system less efficient and it's absolutely costing you money and it's causing the air at your supply vents to be higher than it should be. This could mean uh, several degrees cooler air. When you think about how much of that cool you're losing if the sun is hitting it or if it's exposed to 95, 100 degree ambient temperature. For starters, what we're gonna do is take all of this insulation off. And uh, I wanna emphasize too that this 3 8 line does not require um, insulation. This line is actually going to be hot in the cooling season and this one is going to be cold. So this is the only one that needs to be insulated. We're just going to take our razor knife and we're just going to cut through this and be careful not to go too deep because you don't want to etch into the copper. It would be really hard to cut into the copper but you don't want to etch it if at all possible. So we're just going to cut through this tape here. We're also gonna pull this off and redo this, but if you just had a flat surface here, we're gonna show you how to make this nice and finished um, towards the end of the video. Okay, so we got this little mesh thing removed and we got this pushed in further flush. That's gonna help with the product that we're gonna be using to make this all look really nice and finished. So again, we're gonna just continue on here, get all of this insulation ripped off and we're insulated up to this point. Usually it's just this exterior part that gets sun rotted and really faded. So we're just gonna take all of this off until we have exposed pipe just like this. Okay, so to replace our insulation that we just removed, um, this can be purchased at Home Depot. So this is just um, three quarter insulation with the uh, sticky. It's already split in half and it has this um, sticky stuff on it. So we're just gonna start uh, right over here on this side of the unit. We'll just pull this adhesive backing off. And you don't wanna pull this all off at once. You just wanna do it a little bit at a time because this stuff is really sticky and it'll stick to stuff you don't want it to stick to. Okay, so we'll just kind of measure this up till it meets the new insulation there. You can give yourself a half inch or so to meet the new stuff here. And we're just gonna cut it to length. And then we'll take the rest of this backing off and stick it together. And that's it. All right, so now that we have our line fully insulated from the service valve to where the other insulation was there, we're gonna be installing one of these kits right here. So these are called the Airx Titan Outlets and they make these in different colors. So as you can see, this one here is gray. They also sell them in white with white insulation. And this is what's gonna go on the whole thing. So this is a six foot spool and it will encapsulate everything here. So the liquid line, the thermostat wire, and the suction line. And that's again going to give us an extra barrier of protection. And then this is the outlet itself. So this is gonna go right over here and seal everything up. Now something else is you can get a larger uh, foam piece that seals. If you have siding like this where there's gonna be a gap, 
you can get this with, I believe, half inch or three quarter insulation or foam that will make up for that if you have like siding or different types of siding like this. Okay, so we're just gonna remove these screws here and separate these two. And then we'll kind of get an idea of where this is gonna go. Okay, so that should go right there, just like that. And then we'll just temporarily fit this part here and we'll go ahead and get our screws put in. So now we can kind of manipulate this to wherever we want to make sure that we have a seal all the way around. And then in addition to that, we can go back around and caulk this if we have any gaps, but I think we should be spot on. Now the kit will come with these four uh, tap cons that's made in case you're going into block like this or masonry. Um, but being as we're just going into wood, we're just gonna use our uh, wood screws here. So we're just gonna make sure this is lined up and we'll get it permanently fastened here. Just like that. So everything is secure. It looks like we have a good seal. So next what we're gonna do is take our roll of this exterior cover. This is gonna be the uh, final product here. And then this also comes with a worm clamp that we'll put right between these little grooves here. And we're just gonna start here at the, uh, the tightest box. And we're just gonna start putting this Velcro on. And then once we have this um, attached, all the way we can then rotate this to where the velcro is on the bottom and we'll have a nice finished look here and then once we know about how much we need we can just kind of eyeball it give ourselves a little bit extra and we're just going to make our cut about right here maybe give yourself an extra inch and then you can trim it as needed Okay, so once again, now that that's all Velcroed, we can just rotate this around, slowly just working it. That's it, so the last thing we need to do is take our worm clamp and we'll fasten this so that this never works its way loose. And there we have it, folks. So everything is sealed up looks really nice and everything is contained in this um, barrier. So water, snow, sun, what have you will not be able to enter this and it's gonna keep that insulation intact for years and years to come and you don't have to worry about the efficiency of your unit. Not to mention how beautiful it looks. Um, if someone came out here and looked at what was there before, they might not think this was a professional job whereas when we put this on, it looks professional, it looks really nice, and it's gonna add value to your home. Now let's get into another tip that I wanted to share with you in addition to insulating this, something that a lot of contractors are not sharing or doing for their customers, and I think will also benefit, um, whether small or big, I think it's going to benefit. So what it involves is insulating the suction line inside of our condensing unit. So first of all, we're going to kill power to our unit, just to make sure this isn't gonna come on while we're dismantling stuff. And all we're gonna do is take the perimeter screws off right here, and this is gonna allow us to tilt this up, pivot it against the wall, and we'll be able to access those pipes. Now we still have our remainder section of our insulation. We're gonna use that to insulate that pipe, and that's gonna be going the extra measure to keep those pipes nice and cold. Now another tip I might mention is that you don't wanna over tighten these screws with a drill. It can be easy to strip these screws out and that can lead to vibrations. So I recommend just using a hand tool, whether it be a screwdriver or one that I use a lot of times is a seven in one nut driver made by Klein. That is one of my favorite hand tools. I don't have mine with me today, but I'll make sure and leave it linked in the video description. 
Okay, so now that all of our screws are removed, we're simply gonna lift this up. And depending on what brand you have, you should be able to just kind of tilt it up like this if it's close to the building. Just make sure you don't pinch any of these wires here. Okay, so now that we have the compressor exposed, this is the suction line. So the larger one, that's gonna be the one that gets just as cold as right over on the other side. And we're simply gonna insulate this suction line up to our service valve. This is the one that gets hot, so we're not gonna worry about the small line. And I think we should have just enough in our um, insulation that we got from Home Depot to go ahead and insulate this line. So same process here. We're just going to start with one end and get this put on our line here. Look at that, beautiful. And there you go, it's as easy as that. We're just gonna take our paper backing out and this upgrade is super easy. We were able to insulate that line and keep all of that cool refrigerant in our suction line. While we're in here, we can clean this out, do our spring maintenance if you want to and get everything good and uh, cleaned up for the summer season. So we're just gonna go ahead and put our fan back on and this job will be complete. Well guys, doing this repair is super easy. You can save money in the long run, make this look really nice, and get cooler air from your vents. As always, I'll make sure and leave links to all the products we use in this video down in the video description. Now, if you guys wanna avoid a huge scam that a lot of HVAC contractors do this time of year, make sure and check out this video right here where we show you how to do a very simple and cheap repair and save hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.